This is unreal. I have been locked in the department here for 30 minutes. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and I just got home, and I was going to put a video together on hummingbird feeders, because I went to Walmart, I just bought this, and explaining what happened to me was too long. So I'm going to break this up. Today is just going to be a vlog, because it'll take me time to get the other one together. Long story short, I was locked in Walmart for 30 minutes. I have never been locked in a store. I've been locked in other places, but I've never been locked in a store. Oh my goodness. So I went in and I, my intentions were to make a video on all the hummingbird feeders. And I looked in one section, they were out. I mean, this is a sad I, I thought they weren't going to get them in. And they had some of these. And it turned out it was a clearance section. So this worked out really good. This is a red feeder, so you don't have to dye it. We'll get more into that. No dye put in there. I never put dye in. Please, I ask you not to put dye. It's a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of water. That's all you need. That's the best food for them. And that's the proper nectar and ratio they need. That's the formula. But going back to that, well, I couldn't find the hummingbird feeders. So I figured it was kind of a, a lost day. And I'll look around a little bit. And I decided to go out in the garden department. And that's when I'll tell you the story. And I did. There were a lot of people, I guess, in the store somewhere else, but they weren't there. So here I'm going to tell my story. This is unreal. I have been locked in the department here for 30 minutes. There's nobody here, nobody to help me out. I can't get out. Automatic doors are shut. And I've been trying to call and nobody... And tomorrow or in the next day or two, you'll see... Each one, I went through every single feeder, the good, the bad on it, you know, everything. And to give you thoughts and the prices, it, it turned out really good when I finally had somebody show me that they had changed their hummingbird feeders to a whole different area in the store. So it's just a vlog. I did look through their seeds. Let's talk about that for a minute. I didn't see their seeds that are a deal, unless they tucked those somewhere. I can't, by then I was flustered and I wanted to just go home. And so I looked around. I did look around, I looked at the seeds they sell and I've got all the video, you'll see it right now as I'm talking. And I went through, videotaped all, I went through showing you all the different seeds. And there's not so much to each individual, but the types and the prices you can get a you know, the regular bags for a little over a dollar, dollar seventy-eight, whatever it was, I'm not sure. And then they had bigger bags. You can look and see that. So they do have a lot of seeds and you'd have to go through. Some of them, there was a lot of slots empty. Speaking of empty, I gotta go do the hummingbird feeders here in a minute. So I did look through that, but I wasn't impressed like I usually am. They usually have those and then they have a whole bunch of their kind of their bargain seeds. I did not see them. So either they sold out they moved them and hit them or they're not getting them this year because a lot of prices have gone up just in food in general and everything. So that's it. So that's been my day. So I promise coming very soon, I will have the whole video on all the different feeders and I opened each one up so you could see how it goes together. Isn't this cute? My hummingbird coffee mug. I'm just trying to come home today and unwind. Poor Gary almost had to go down and get me. Could you imagine 30 minutes to be locked in a department in a store and nobody goes to look in the garden department? I don't know. I don't know. Not yet. I guess it's been so cold. And so nobody was going in there. Nobody cared. Well, at least when I got out, finally got out, the guy did. He went outside and he said, here, come with me. I said, no, if I go with you, we're both going to be locked in there. So he went out and then the door shut and he couldn't get back in, but I stepped forward and opened it because you can open it from one side, not from the other. That's it. So I just wanted to say hello. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. We do have sun. We've had good things. I'm not complaining. Our car passed the smog test. Usually it doesn't. It did. So a lot of good things coming. And I did get three of these feeders. I was so excited. I thought, you know what? It's pretty, it'll look nice out there and I can hang one and if it gets really bad, I can swap it out. And I know how I'm gonna fix it. And if you wanna see me you know, fix it, just let me know because I'm gonna add on a seat to this. That was the only downfall. It doesn't have an outmote, but I make my own outmotes. I've got videos on that, you can check that out. But otherwise it looked really nice and I like this. So it holds 20 ounces of nectar, which I make my own. Again, quarter of a cup of white 
granulated sugar, which is table sugar, same thing you put in your coffee, no brown sugar, no honey, that will kill them. Don't give them that. And then a cup of water. That's the two things. It's a recipe more than a formula, but think of it as a recipe, quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of water, and you've got the perfect nectar for your feathered friends that are flying around. So let's check out what I did a few minutes ago, and then you can watch that, and then be prepared. The good one's coming. After I unwind and sit here and watch my friends. Gee, who would have fed them? Gary, he did. I actually had to text him and say, Gary, feed the hummingbirds, and he did. So he came to the rescue. And he didn't have to come to the store to get me out, which he was on how I got locked in Walmart. That's a first, and I'm gonna give you a warning. I ended up buying this feeder that was on clearance for $5 because it's red. To show you that if you want to put something out there that's red, get a feeder that's already red. It's a really nice feeder, it's plastic. Check your Walmart, see if they've got them. This one was $5 on clearance. I like the idea. That's three pieces. I'm gonna change it though. I'm gonna put some seats on here so the hummingbirds can sit. And well, I figured for $5, it's a little bit more than the ones I really like. Doesn't have any bee guards, but if they can't reach the nectar, then it will work. So we'll have to see how it works, but I'm gonna make my own stand. So I'll tell you what happened. I got to Walmart and I went to the department I'm used to going to. And it was nothing, and stuff piled, and it was like things reduced. And I thought, what? They don't have hummingbird feeders anymore? So I started looking and I found a few of these feeders there reduced to $5. Well, I figured they don't have any more, I'm gonna leave. I was very disappointed. And I go look out outside, you know, at their garden department, like I usually do. So I saw this cat pacing back and forth, but that's another story. Maybe I should have gotten a tip from the cat. I went out the door and I looked through their plants and there was nothing I wanted, nothing. Nobody's there. The whole store was actually, it was weird. It was empty because the parking lot was full. I don't know where everybody was shopping. Maybe in the grocery department, which is on the other side of the store. So anyways, kind of roamed around a little bit. Didn't see anything. I'll show you the only footage I did while I was in there. And I got to the door and uh-oh, the sensor didn't work. There was no way to get out. The doors had slammed so tight shut that there was nothing you can do and the sensor wasn't opening. So here's the footage. This is unreal. I have been locked in the department here for 30 minutes. There's nobody here, nobody to help me out. I can't get out. Automatic doors are shut and I've been trying to call and nobody cares. So I ended up, I, I used to work in a department store when I was a kid, like 16, 15, 16 years old. So I went to the front where they had a phone. There's a register there, nobody was there. And the doors to go out to the parking lot were bolted with bolts and, and everything with big chains. So there's no way to get out. I couldn't get out that way. I couldn't climb, even if I could climb because they have the whole top wired. So I went to the phone, I tried every number on there. I called the pharmacy department, I called the sporting goods department, I called the service desk department, nobody answered. Tried every single one. When you try to call the 800 number, you don't get anywhere. And a lot of times they don't answer at all. So that didn't work. I called Gary and Gary said he was gonna come down. It would have been a good 20, 30 minutes till he got there, but he was gonna drive down the Walmart and get me out. Or at least get somebody to get me out. I kicked, I went back to the doors, I kicked, I. I pounded, pounding was like pounding on sand. It, doors are so thick, nobody could hear me. And it's kind of an odd situation. You leave the store and you go into these, uh, this section where they've got all their seeds and just kind of dry goods, those doors shut. So it really makes everything quiet, everything's soundproof. Then you have to go further down and there's another set of doors that take you to the garden department. Way off, those doors shut. So with the front doors in this little, indoor garden section if where dry goods are nobody could hear me i'm pounding that was useless i'm kicking the door as hard as i can nobody heard anything so anyways when i finally kicked it really hard i noticed it jiggled and as soon as it jiggled i saw a space between the two doors and i got my finger in there hoping that i wasn't going to lose my finger but i got my finger in there and i popped the door 
Before that, I couldn't do it. So I got out. 30 minutes locked in. Nobody came. Nobody at that register. My husband, Gary, he finally got a hold of somebody. He was on his way down, and he got a hold of somebody in pharmacy. And pharmacy must have called somebody else who was on their way down. But at that point, I got out. And this kid comes up that works there. I showed him. I called uh, somebody over. I said, who's the manager of the store? Which I never spoke to a manager of the store. Nobody got me the manager, but apparently he's on vacation, somebody told me. He comes over with me and he says, are you sure you just walk back in? I said, no, you walk out. And he goes, well, come on. I said, I'm not going with you or nobody's going to get us out. We'll both be stuck out there. So he walked out. Of course, the door slammed shut and he couldn't get back in either. So all I had to do was walk up because the one side was working, but the outside to come back in wasn't working. So I got him back in and then another manager came over and let's put it this way. I've run different businesses all my life and she was not sympathetic. In fact, she turned around and said to me, we just had these doors fixed yesterday. And I said, well, obviously not. But, and, and then she showed me there was this thing on the side. After she opened the doors, you can pry this. It's like a bolt or something open and then would open the door. I said, well, that's fine, but you got the doors open to take that out, right? And then she said, yeah. So anyways, long story short, I'm out. I'm free. I'm free from Walmart. Not even a department where there's food. I don't even know if the water was turned on. But at least I had my cell phone, so Gary would have come down. So that's been my day. 30 minutes. Not even with the hummingbird feeders. Just with a lot of plants that need a little more watering, I would say, on some of them. So that's what happened. So what I'm going to say to you is I will tell you that the next time I go there and I look outside and they've got those doors, because you can see straight down, the doors going to the parking lot bolted shut and nobody's working in there. I ain't going in there. So I am not going to take that chance again. Because I'm wondering if somebody shut the sensor off because of this black cat that was pacing back and forth in front of those doors while I was looking around trying to get in. Somebody might have told them to shut that sensor off because they don't want the cat in the store. That's just an observation. I don't know. Because the cat kept looking at me to see if I was going to be able to get back in when I couldn't. So anyways... I will not go out there unless somebody's working that department. They had the register. Well, I, actually, the register, I don't know if it was locked, but nobody was working it. And I don't know how long it would have been until somebody would have found me. Eventually, they would have, maybe. No, it didn't matter. Gary was on his way down. So he got to go home. He didn't have to go down there. He got the pharmacy department. That was the only department. My daughter told me the same thing. Next time, call the pharmacy. I never called Walmart's pharmacy, so I had no idea that that's pretty much the only department you can sometimes get somebody, a physical live person, though she said if they're really busy, they sometimes don't answer her either. So there's a tip. You see something that might close, you look behind you, and if there's nobody else in the store around you, maybe you want to think about going in there when there's other people there. So it could be a whole group of you stuck. At least maybe then they would look. So with that, check out all the hummingbird feeders at your Walmart. They have a nice selection. I still like my favorite one. You know which one that is. But this one's not bad to try because it's cute and it's colorful. With that, have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. I'm home. I'm free. I don't like being locked up. I am free. Kitty. Kitty. Did you know? Your, come here, kitty. Did you know your mama was locked up? Did you care? I don't care. That, oh, it keeps coming on. Did you know I was locked up? Did you care? It's just only when it came to feeding time I would care. It's probably when Gary would notice I wasn't home. See, that's a nice feeder.